Hi, I'm really glad you're back. Today, let's do a little recap, especially if you've already seen some of my videos before. We're going to create a simple profile picture in vector mode using Affinity Designer and Inkscape. Let's start by picking a photo of yourself. Since it's a photo, we'll need to switch to Pixel Persona first. Okay, let's go with this one. I'll crop it into a circle first. Press Ctrl plus C to copy it, and then paste it. You'll notice that the copied image is still the full picture. So, we need to rasterize it before copying. Also, take a look at this guy's face, see how the skin tone around the cheeks and neck blends into the light background? We can cheat a little here by drawing a black outline around those areas. That way, when we use Trace Bitmap in Inkscape, the black outline will help separate the face more clearly from the background. Then export it as a JPEG file. Alright, now head over to Inkscape. Go to File Import. Then go to the Path menu Trace Bitmap. Set the Detection Mode to Brightness Cutoff, and lower the Threshold value a bit. Click Apply, and it'll generate a traced image, but you'll see a ton of nodes. Just press Ctrl plus L to simplify Path, maybe once or twice. The more you simplify, the rougher the shape becomes, and you'll lose some tiny details, so adjust based on your needs. In my case, my computer can handle it, so I'm fine with that. Now press Ctrl plus C to copy, and Ctrl plus V to paste it directly into Affinity Designer. Use the Node tool to delete the parts you don't want. Hold Alt to select nodes freely like in freehand mode. You can also clean up or add details as you go. Now press Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. You can change the fill color to match skin tone or whatever you have in mind. Go to the Layer Menu Geometry Fill Hold. This command is super helpful when tracing images that have lots of small holes or detailed shapes. Next, use the Pencil tool and switch on Sculpt Mode to fix or close any broken outlines, whether it's for the hat, the shoulders, or anything else. The key idea is, your pencil stroke should start and end on the existing path. If you forgot how to do this, go back and check out my video on the Pencil tool in my channel. After that, use the Pencil tool with Sculpt Mode to draw and add more details. Then use Boolean Add to merge everything into one single shape. It's much easier to work with than a bunch of separate pieces. From here on, it's all up to your creativity. You can add shadows, highlights, and small details. Use the Insert Inside the Selection button to draw inside your base shape. Or if you prefer, use Boolean Operations, Shape Builder Tool, Gradient Tool, or Transparency Tool, whatever suits your style when it comes to coloring and designing. Some of you might be wondering, why don't I just do the whole vector work in Inkscape from the start, especially since you can color everything there too? Well, I still believe in keeping things simple, especially when you're just starting out. Learn the basics first, once you're comfortable, how far you take it is totally up to you. If you're curious to explore more, try searching for photo to line art tutorials. And if you're into drawing seriously, check out my I Know So You Know series. All five videos are great for learning to draw cartoon characters and improving your skills.
And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and had fun drawing. If you'd like to support me, there's a super thanks button below. Every bit of support really helps me keep making good content like this. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.